And then finally, there's fat, dietary fat. And that's really complicated. And the reason is because there are seven different fats, and they all do different things. And three of them are good for you, and three of them are a little less good for you, and one of them is downright poison. So we have to discuss each one because people want to know. All right, what are the good for you ones? Omega-3s. Omega-3s are the single best thing you can put in your body. Omega-3s, as we've talked about, you can find in certain vegetables and in marine life. Omega-3s are heart-healthy, anti-inflammatory, anti-Alzheimer's, and our current omega-3 consumption is way low. Number two, monounsaturated fatty acids, oleic acid. This is what's in olive oil. Olive oil is a winner, and the reason is because olive oil stimulates the liver to produce a transcription factor which helps total body metabolism. And that's a good thing. The only bad thing about olive oil is if you heat it too high, because the double bond in olive oil that makes it a monounsaturated fatty acid can flip and if, uh, when you put heat across it. And if it flips, now you have a trans fat, which is the worst. Number three, polyunsaturated fatty acids, you know, walnut oils and various other nut oils are polyunsaturated. They are also good. They also will keep your LDL down. They will keep your membranes intact in good ways. But like olive oil, if you put enough heat across those uh, double bonds, they will flip and you will get trans fats. And because there are more double bonds, more risk for it. Number four, saturated fat. Now, everybody thinks saturated fat is bad because they've been told for 50 years that saturated fat is the bad guy. No, saturated fat is cardiovascularly neutral. It's neither good nor bad. It doesn't have any double bonds. So you can heat it to any level you want, and it won't change its structure because there's no double bond to break or to flip. Um, it is not necessarily good for you, but dairy saturated fats have a phospholipid signature which actually is associated with metabolic health, prevention of cardiovascular disease and diabetes. So dairy saturated fat and red meat saturated fat aren't even the same. Number five, medium chain triglycerides. Now they're also very uh, hot because number one, the vegans love it because they're not animal fat things like coconut oil, and the paleo uh, people love it because it you know, fits within the paleo diet. And for the most part, they tend to be reasonably good too, unless you mix them with a whole lot of saturated fat, in which case you end up with a whole lot of triglyceride being uh, manufactured in the liver, which is not so good. Number six, omega-6 fatty acids. These are the seed oils, the um, soybean oil, the uh, uh, cottonseed oil, the uh, corn oil, etc. And those are the precursors of arachidonic acid and uh, therefore uh, the precursors to inflammation. And so they drive inflammation and you want to try to keep those down. And they are in virtually every ultra processed food. And then finally, number seven, trans fats, which are the devil incarnate. And the reason is because we don't have the uh, enzyme to break that trans double bond. Well, the reason they were put into the food in the, in the first place was because the bacteria don't have that enzyme either. They can't chew them up. They can't make trans fat laden food rancid vis-a-vis -vis the 10 year old Twinkie. And so virtually every baked good prior to 2000 had a multitude of trans fats. Well, they were lining our arteries and our livers and causing metabolic syndrome and early demise.